hello future scientist i hope you all are well and the things are going quite well for you so i suppose that you all have applied to your dream universities in the us as us deadline is already passed and if you are thinking to apply in uk and europe then there is still time as the applications for the us for the uk i'm sorry for the uk and europe is all year long so keep applying if you haven't applied and if you have already done so then i know that you all are waiting eagerly for your results right and i will say that if you haven't received any positive email from your universities then don't be disheartened wait till april because it usually takes 2 months for them to process all the information and selection process and definitely you will get in april as i also received mine in april okay so just be calm and keep applying so let's talk about this video in this video i am giving all the details that you need when you receive your offer letter and how to apply for visa ats and everything you need after you receive an offer letter i will tell you in this video so first of all if you are a phd candidate and you received an offer letter from the uk university then this video is for you so the first thing you want to do when you receive an offer letter is apply for the ats certificate now you must be thinking what is this ats certificate so ats certificate means academic technology approval scheme this is basically you need for telling uk that you are not doing any bad things in the name of science and technology research in the uk so if you are not belong to uk or us or europe then you have to apply for this ats certificate and there is no charge for this ats certificate this is only for those phd candidates who are going to do research in science and technology related background so yes you applied for this ats certificate then the processing time for ats certificate is around 30 working days so you have to wait for 30 working days after you applying for this so for me i received my offer letter on 1 april 2022 and i applied for ats immediately after i received my offer letter and then i waited for one month to get my ats certificate done so yeah usually it takes one month but if you are applying from june to september and that is the peak time so it can take more time so don't be afraid if you are taking longer than expected as it mentioned everywhere that if you are applying from june to september then it is peak time and there will be delayed in getting the ats certificate so i hope things go well and you receive your ats certificate on time then the next thing is care statement so to carry out any research or any course in university you need to apply for care statement for care statement the university will send you an i will say a form and you have to apply that form and write all the things that they ask you and then you will wait to receive that care form and then that also takes one month at least for me but i think it will take one month so i don't want to give you false hopes because i was thinking that i will get it in 15 days and i will get my visa and i will be flying in one month so no that's not the case it will take one month so let's suppose you got your ats certificate in one month and now you applied for cas and you received it in one month if you got lucky enough okay but yeah it will be done in 2 months so now you receive your cas statement now after receiving cas you need to apply for visa and 
applying for visa will require money because they charge for applying student visa and i'm assuming that all this all the students who is seeing this video are going on student visa so for uk student visa cost around 37000 inr and if i talk about in pounds then it is 370 pounds yeah it's a lot of money so this is how you can apply for the student visa form and one more thing so if you are going to us for doing phd then it takes 4 years right and you will mention in your visa then that you are going to do phd there for 4 years and for that you have to deposit your national health in, in insurance so this health insurance is basically to ensure that if something will happen to you in uk and i believe that nothing happens so you have this health insurance to cure that illness without giving any money and to apply for visa this is a compulsory step that you have to get this national health insurance and the amount you need to pay depends on how many years you are be in uk so for me i will be staying for 4 years so my national health insurance was for 4 years which cost around 2000 pounds yeah and that's 2 lakh 13000 in inr a lot of money right but you have to pay it there is no choice because it is a rule that you have to get insurance if you want to get into uk so yeah you paid your health insurance you paid visa fees and then you have to take visa appointment in your local area not local area to be honest i'll say whatever near to you so you know that there is vfs global which handle all this visa related queries issues in different countries so you have to after submitting your visa application you have to take an appointment for your biometry or your interview so now i applied for my visa on 6 june and i got an appointment on 16th june for vfs global so usually it takes 10 days to get an appointment it's not very i'll say crowdy so you can get appointment in 10 days so after receiving appointment i went there i have done my biometry and they check they asked me some questions like why i am going to uk what i need to do there what is my university what is my course and that's done after this i waited for to be honest 15 days and in 15 days i got my visa but to be honest it can take more than that so don't book your tickets beforehand i was thinking that okay let's book it but no don't do it that's not good you will waste a lot of money thinking that you will go early to the uk so wait for visa and i think it will take 15 to 20 days maximum 3 weeks but not more than that if your application don't have any problem visa application so do it with your proper mind in that form and you can get it in 3 weeks so totally i received my offer letter in april and i received my visa in july 5 july so basically ats cash and visa all these things will take 3 months and after that only you can fly to uk so just to make sure i made this video so that you know how much money you need and how you need to prepare if you get an offer letter from an uk university so that's it i hope this helps and if you have any questions about anything related to phd and 
how to reach to your dream university i am here to help you and guys if you don't received any email positive email about your phd that you got a position then don't be disheartened it is really plenty of time to receive that and you have so many applications out there in the uk and europe so just keep applying and hoping for the best and i'm really hoping that you all get your dream university and all the best bye bye